We're very much aware that since we launched our new keyboard, the Digma Defy, we haven't shown it too much, which has led to so, so many questions. It's time to properly show our new keyboard and go over every single thing it brings to the table. Hopefully, your table. Hi Digmates, I'm Dominique and today I'll be your guide through this detailed tour of the Digma Defy. First of all, let's go over the obvious, at least for those of you who already have an ergonomic keyboard, the split design. This is something mandatory if you want to call your keyboard ergonomic. Look at how your hands are placed on a conventional keyboard. You tend to do this with your wrists. They're bending sideways. That's called ulnar deviation, which will cause pain in the ulnar nerve in the long run if you keep doing this. But this also affects your posture. Your elbows are drawn closer to your body, which pushes your shoulders forward and ultimately makes you slouch. Ooh, this hurts. A split keyboard allows you to place your hands aligned with your forearms. This pushes your elbows to the side of your body, which allows you to open up your chest and straighten your shoulders and of course, your back. That's not the only benefit of having a split keyboard, especially one with fully independent halves, like the Digma Defy. For example, you can place anything you want between the halves, like your mouse, a tablet, a drawing pad, or a notepad, but also your coffee, some food, or even your pet. And there's more. You can get rid of the half that you don't need and have much more space for your mouse or your drawing tablet, even if you're a lefty. That's great for gaming, but also for video and photo editors, designers, and creators. As you can see, a split design is key to reducing ulnar deviation. But there's another thing you need to avoid in order to enhance comfort, hand pronation. Hand pronation is when your palms are facing down, which is something we do all the time while typing. Rotating your forearms puts strain on the joints, muscles, and tissues, which reduces blood circulation and can lead to pain and injuries. So how can we avoid that? That's where tenting your keyboard comes in. See, your hands are now in a more natural position, similar to when you catch a ball. However, in a recent survey of the tending kit for the Digma race, we found that the natural position is different for everybody. Some might need a low angle and others a very steep one. That's why we've designed the tenting of the Digma Defy to be able to go from 7 degrees to 60 degrees. Plus, it also has reverse tilting. But what we're most proud of is that the tenting legs can be folded into the body so the keyboard lays completely flat without any extra added height. Achieving this was a big engineering challenge because we also had to fit the underglow and the batteries in the body. Finally, wrist extension. That's when your wrists bend upwards, something that happens a lot when we type on conventional keyboards. Just seeing that makes my wrist ache. The Digma Defy has built-in palm rests and detachable palm pads, which let your wrists rest at a more neutral angle. Another party piece of the Digma Defy is its wireless connectivity, both Bluetooth and RF. As you can see, the keyboard is lit without any cables. I mean, it's lit anyways. That's great if you want to use the keyboard with your tablet or just want a cable-free setup. But we also wanted to clarify some things that you've frequently asked us. Wireless connectivity is an optional extra, but the wireless version will also work wired, even if you remove the batteries. We are aiming for a battery life of at least 20 hours with the lights on maximum brightness, and much more when dimmed. And the batteries will be easily replaceable. Moving on now to one of the most requested features, the layout. Our first keyboard, the Digma Rays, had a conventional layout with the keys arranged in rows. And many of you kept asking us to make an ortho one, so we did. A columnar layout helps reduce finger travel and feels more natural. We could have gone ortholinear, but we believe that a columnar layout is the way to go. Our fingers are not all the same length, so why should all the columns be placed equally on the keyboard? This way, your fingers easily rest on the home row. But of course, the star of the show is probably our thumb cluster. With eight keys on each side, it might seem overkill, but we've designed it so any hand size can reach at least five or six keys. Plus, I really dig how you feel like you're in command of a spacecraft with all of these buttons. Pew, 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 pew. 
This has allowed us to remove the modifier row, which required weird finger stretching in order to reach them. Now, your strongest fingers are in charge. You can use the thumb keys for space, enter, backspace, control, alt, delete, and even escape and shift. But not only that, you can also easily access your layers with them. And if you're the kind of person that can't live without dedicated arrow keys, you can place in there too. Although we really encourage you to use layers and have them closer to your home row. I'd also like to point out how both rows have different heights, making it easier to reach the lower row or to press the top row without misclicking the lower one. And finally, we're very proud of the legends on the thumb keys. This has allowed us to easily name the keys. For example, this one is L1, this one is L4, and this would be R8. Of course, this layout and thumb cluster would be useless if you didn't have the ability to change your layout and create up to 10 layers. For the past year, or better yet, years, we've been working a lot improving our configurator software, so it's very easy to design your layers with power-ups like combos, macros, dual function keys, and super keys. But let's move now to the fun part, the RGB. We've completely reworked the underglow of the keyboard. Now it's two times brighter. Just look at it compared to the rays. But that's not all. Now more light shines through the keycaps. So the backlight feels twice as bright. Note that this is a prototype. The end product will have per key RGBW, which means more precise color options for each key. Finally, we wanted to show you other features that many take for granted, but that not all ergonomic keyboards have. First, the Digma Defy is hot swappable, which means you can change your switches anytime. That's very practical if you want to try out new switches. But also, if one of them goes rogue, you can simply change it and not buy another keyboard. Second, the Digma Defy has an anodized aluminum body, which makes it sturdy, light, and especially very good looking. Both black and silver are just and with time, we can make limited edition colors like with the Digma Race. So, what do you think? Has this answered some of your questions or do you now have even more? If you do, please share them in the comments below. We'll try to answer them as soon as we can. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, click the bell icon so you get notified every time we publish new videos. And if you're not subscribed to our crowdfunding newsletter yet, do it now. Link is in the description below. See you in our next video. Until then, 